so I got quite a few questions about how I made this Gyu workout outfit. And because I'm not currently selling any of them at the moment, I thought it was only fair that I make a short little tutorial slash just me kind of talking about how I made this little outfit and how you can recreate something similar. I would say that this project is relatively beginner friendly. So as long as you have a pretty clear understanding of how to use a sewing machine slash cut fabric, you are good to go. First things first, a lot of you guys wonder where I get the fabric from. I buy my anime fabric from Spoonflower. There are a lot of creators that upload their designs onto that platform. On Spoonflower, you can upload a print and then request that that print be made in different fabrics. This is the sports spandex, I believe. They have some really cool designs and I highly recommend that you check them out. Hi, so I was very worried that I was not going to have enough of this fabric left over to make this, but I think we're gonna make it work. All right, this is how much fabric I have left. So for all my lazy friends, take your shorts and do a measurement. What's your first thing, what's your first, Where's your first thing? Where's your... <sighs> Hello, editing Romy here, and I'm now realizing how poorly I explained exactly what I'm trying to do here. Basically what I'm doing is I'm looking at my pant legs and I'm recreating those two pant leg panels by just measuring them out and recreating the shapes on my fabric. I love geometric patterns because it makes it so easy. So you probably can't see it, but I have marked out here my inseam, and then I have a little arch comes up to here, one line that goes straight across, and then it arches down for the booty region and comes back down. Okay, so I think this is a little bit easier to see. So you see we've got a little arch and then we've got a bigger arch. So this is going to end up folding over and becoming one pant leg, like so. So now you're gonna take your opposite side fabric and you are going to pin your fabrics right sides together and then cut it out along that line so that you have two pieces that are opposite. So once we've got our two pieces cut out and they're right sides together, what you're going to do now is you're going to take your serger or sewing machine on a zigzag stitch, whichever you got, and you are going to sew this arch and you're also gonna go and sew this arch. Just to pass the time. Now that we have surged the two crotch seams. Here comes the magic. You are going to go to the center of one of the seam, one of the panels, and the center of the other panel, and you're going to go like this. Five, six, seven, eight, boom. Now you are going to turn on your transatlantic accent, and you are going to sew over this crotch seam. So now we have our little pants, and they are absolutely teeny tiny. I don't know if these are going to work. But any hoozy doozy, now would be a good time to try them on. Actually, these came out really good. Not bad. So you want them to be low waisted because now we're going to make the waistband that is going to come up above our waistline. Okay, so as for the waistband, you are going to cut out a big chunky little dude. And I forgot to mention that there are actually two panels, one with the opposite color. So the length of this of your waistband doesn't need to be perfect because we are going to be overlapping it a little bit. So I have about 19 and a half inches this way. The height of this is going to be twice however tall you want your waistband to be. With the right sides together, we're gonna to sew together one side of this waistband. Now that we've got them sewn together like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold them over like so. Da -da 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 -da. And you are going to surge slash zigzag stitch uh, this bottom edge. So now what you're going to do is lay it out like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pin here and here and then cut off the excess. All right, and you should be left with something like this. So as you can see, I've lined up this back seam with this back seam and then I have crisscrossed the front. And now we are just going to sew along this edge with a zigzag stitch. Hopefully turn it right side out and hopefully everything is okay. And that's it, you're pretty much done. Let me know if you guys wanna see a tutorial for the top part. It's basically the same process that I use to make the shorts, so. Literally, if you want to make any kind of clothing, just look at the clothes that you already own and kind of trace out the shapes that you see. I like to think of sewing stuff like this as a puzzle piece. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Please leave any questions that you might have down below. I'm not the greatest at explaining things and I'm more than happy to help you out in any way that I can. Hope you guys enjoyed, have a wonderful day and uh, peace. Done it.